Hello and welcome to English as a Second Language. My name is Osvaldo Torres and I will be your instructor for the remaining of the session. Uh, let's begin with the roll call. Make sure everyone that needs to be here is here. And if you feel that you don't belong here, now is the time to say something, okay? All right, Ivan Ivanovich. Oh, welcome, Ivan. Angela Rodriguez. Angela, welcome, Angela. Svetlana Petrovna. Welcome to the class, Svetlana. Marcos Santana. Marcos. Welcome, Marcos. Ismael Rosado. Ismael, welcome to the class, Ismael. Pedro Perez. Pedro, welcome, Pedro. Maria Itier. Maria, welcome to the class, Maria. Just in case, anyone I did not call. Okay, great, excellent. All right. Uh, I, I need to set step before we begin, I need to set some ground rules. Okay. Um, as an instructor, I need to keep control and keep everything in check, especially technology. Fortunately, with all the technology available, uh, sometimes we don't focus as much as we should. So what I need from you, okay, I need to make a pact, and I need to make an, have an agreement with everyone that we're going to focus on the class and on the assignments and on the lessons, and we're going to stay focused. I don't want anybody veering off with technology. Uh, in this class, we bring our own devices, and that's fantastic. School saves money, and you get to use your own devices, a device that you, you already know how to use. You don't have to start learning how to use uh, a different device. Okay, you'll be using a device that you're familiar with. And that's what's great about bringing, your, bringing in your own device. Uh, the drawbacks are that your friends can contact you just about at any time. You'll receive instant messages and things like that. Do me a favor. Turn those features off, okay? All right? I want you to be stay focused. No chatting and no instant messaging and no text messages. I don't have to do anything with the class. We need to stay focused. Can we agree on that? Okay? I have several laptops in the back. All right? They're from the uh, previous century, practically. Okay? Uh, if you can't... Stay focused with your own device. I have some spare laptops and you'll be using those. Uh, they're not very fast, but for the pur purposes of this class, uh, I'll be taking away your devices. No, I don't want to do that. All right? And we'll be using those bricks back there. Okay. So is everyone, does everyone agree? Okay, so we have a consensus. Fantastic. Thank you. All right, moving forward. In this class, we'll be using Duolingo, but before that, I need to identify anybody that's having any challenges with technology. And I also need to identify uh, my high flyers with technology. Yeah, you know who I'm talking to. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, any high flyers, um, if I identify any high flyers, anyone that's good with technology, uh, you'll become an important asset to this class because you'll be helping me out with the rest of the classroom. All right. So, I'll need to take an assessment. Uh, in your email that you received with the invitation to Duolingo, you'll see a link and it goes to the uh, Google Forms website where you fill out the uh, survey uh, to see how well you are with technology. So I want everybody to go to their email, the email that they received yesterday. Everyone got the email. I know everyone got the email because everyone's registered on Duolingo. I checked it out. Let me know when you're there. Excellent. Okay. Everyone have the link. All right. I want you to click on the link and go to the survey. And what I'll do is I'll give you uh, 15 minutes to do the survey. Okay? Okay. Now that we're done with the survey, let's move forward. Click on the link to the Duolingo website. And what we'll do, well, we're going to discuss and we're going to, we're going to review uh, the site. For example, move to the, uh, to the initial site and you'll see a link towards the first module. Each module, as you'll see, when you click on the module, you'll see a series of lessons. Okay, you'll see a series of lessons right on the module at the top of the page. 
You'll see one, two, three, four, five, six lessons. Everybody got that? Good, excellent. Okay, now, if you look beneath the lessons, you want to scroll down, you'll see some really important information. Okay, this information is the pre-learning information, uh, where you'll be exposed to the content that you will you can expect from the lessons. Okay, so I'm not just going to throw you in there to uh, practice and, to, and, and assessments before knowing what you're getting into. It gives you some tips, and some advice, and some important notes about the language and what you're getting into. All right? So make sure that every time you access the modules and you access the lessons, scroll to the bottom of the, of the, of the, lesson, of the lessons page and make sure you read those notes. All right? They come in, uh, I can't say it enough, they come in handy. Uh, especially if you if you run into trouble now at each lesson you'll see a link click on the uh, on the first lesson let's click on the, everyone click on the first lesson okay is everyone on the first lesson good now let's select that first lesson and see what it gives us right you'll see uh you'll see a number of selections and you'll you'll see uh some instructions in your native language to make a selection. Now at the very top on the right hand corner you'll see that it has a link towards tips and notes. Tips and notes. Now if you click on those tips and notes what it'll give you? That's right, yeah, right, good. Excellent, it gives you the back to the tips and notes. The tips and notes that you were supposed to read. Now what this does, it gives you access in many different ways uh, to those tips and notes in case you run into trouble. If you have a problem with with a particular word, just hover the uh, the mouse over the word and it will give you clues on what that word means so that you can interpret the sentences and uh, it helps you out. Okay, it doesn't it doesn't leave you running in the dark. Alright, I'm not going to throw you under the bus. Uh, but as you progress through the lessons, what you'll find is that you need these tips and you need the, these hints uh, less often. Okay, so it's important that you access these tips and, and you begin uh, exercising, uh, practicing the, the exercises at home and doing the assessments at home and working hard at home so that when we come to class, what we'll do is we'll do some practical exercises and some dynamic conversations using the new words and new phrases that you've learned through Duolingo. Now, uh, for example, let's go on to our whiteboard here. Okay, let's turn on our whiteboard. It gives us uh, the same the same lessons that you have. Duolingo gives us the ability to present the uh, the lessons as activities. Okay, as classroom activities, so we can share the information. Now, as we can see on our whiteboard, for example, in this in this case, it tells you to select the man and so we have three images right what's the first image uh, in English please English the entire class will be held in English no matter what language you speak we'll be speaking English all the time in the class all right a duck good excellent a duck what's the second image a ball yes a ball good and what's the third image a man and what do the instructions say it says Select the man. Okay, go ahead and select the man. Excellent. All right, now did you hear the word? Once you selected the man, it gave you an audio saying the word man. 